there's an important sign here that helps us get to the diagnosis. Let's go through the case. Let's compare this x-ray with a normal x-ray. In a normal case, we should be able to outline the breakhead cephalic veins draining into the SVC as there's faint opacity on the right side of the mediastinum, as well as the azagous vein, which is a small contour just above the right main bronchus. Going back to our case, we have none of that. Instead, we have an abnormal contour to the right side of the mediastinum. So is this lung cancer? Well, there is a really important sign here that points us away from this diagnosis. Now, if we look through the mask, we can make out the right hilar vessels. This is important as it tells us the mask can't lie within the middle mediastinum, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see the right hilum. This is sometimes referred to as the hilum overlay sign. Now, central lung cancers more commonly involve the middle mediastinum and hilar region, so that makes this less likely. We therefore need to consider a lesion within the anterior or posterior mediastinum. And statistically, anterior mediastinal masses account for the majority of hilum overlay cases. So what are the causes of an anterior mediastinal mass? Let's use the four T's mnemonic. Thymic lesion, teratomas and germ cell tumours, thyroid goiter and terrible lymphoma. When the patient's less than 40, germ cell tumours and lymphoma account for a large proportion of cases, with thymomas accounting for a larger proportion of cases over the age of 40. The CT scan confirms a mass in the anterior mediastinum and notice how the hilum is spared. This is why we get the hilum overlay sign on the x-ray. There are some features on imaging that help us differentiate between the four T's. Look for calcification that you may see with a germ cell tumour or thymoma. Look for fat within the lesion, which you can sometimes see with a teratoma. Look for any connection with the thyroid and a similar enhancement pattern, and assess the pleura and pericardium as thymic lesions like to spread here. We don't have those features, but on the PET-CT what we can see is that the anterior mediastinal mass is FDG avid, and there are separate nodes within the mediastinum increasing suspicion that this is related to lymphoma. To get the diagnosis, the mass was biopsied under the guidance of CT, confirming lymphoma. Now look at the post-chemotherapy chest x-ray and the mass is no longer seen. So when you see an abnormal mediastinal contour, don't forget to look for the hilum overlay sign.